Today we're going to be integrating, not knowing what we're integrating. Okay, guys, so we are supposed to evaluate the integral from 2 to 3 of f of x all over f of 5 minus x plus f of x dx, not knowing what f of x is. That's going to be really <laughs> funny. <laughs> okay, so well, how are we supposed to solve this problem? We don't even, I mean, we're integrating, not knowing what we are integrating. So, who the hell? Well... <laughs> Let's first of all rewrite this problem here, you know, a little bit more bottomer. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna slide over here to the bottom and I'm gonna rewrite this. The integral from 2 to 3 of f of x, everything divided, everything divided by f of 5 minus x plus f of x dx. Now I would like to set this integral we're supposed to evaluate equal to some i because well why not yeah, yeah I just, I'm just gonna know its value yeah and I would like to do some use up because well why not I mean let's try and do it yeah so I would like to make a use up of this 5 minus x equal to u yeah so I would like to make a u substitution there that's gonna be 5 minus 5 minus x equal to u, which will give me negative dx equal to du. And as to bounds of integration, that's going to be like this. So when x is equal to 2 for the lower bound, u will be equal to, well, 5 minus x, which is 3, which is 3. And then when x is equal to 3, u will be equal to 5 minus 3, which is 2, yeah? So those bounds of integration don't really change, they just kind of flip, yeah? They flip around. And so after this substitution, we are going to get the integral from, I'm sorry, from 3 to 2, of f of and now it's gonna be well x is gonna become 5 minus u so 5 minus u here all over f of now 5 minus x is just a u and then plus f of x f of 5 minus x is just f of u and then f of x is equal to f of 5 minus u du however du was equal to negative dx so it's gonna be negative du as well well we only change the variable the numerical the numerical value of this integral doesn't change it's still equal to the same plane all y uh, i nothing changes here but now well i honestly would like to get rid I'm, i would like to flip those bounds of integration because the bound from three to two doesn't really look so good so i just take this negative sign and use it to flip the bounds. So let's do it. I'm not even going to be writing this thing. I'm just going to delete this negative sign and move the du here a bit. And I'm just going to rewrite those bounds nicely from 2 to 3. Lovely. So those two integrals are still both equal to i. But now you see this integral right over here. I mean, it's in terms of u, but I'm thinking... <sighs> Even though it's in terms of u, this denominator, denominator right there looks very similar to the denominator in this integral. Yes, this f of 5 minus x plus f of x looks very similar to f of u plus f of 5 minus u. The only difference is that here we've got an x variable and here we've got a u variable. So let's just take one of those, let's say this integral, and change those, uh, and lovely, you know, <laughs> lovely, change those variables, change this u to an x, and add up to, and let's add up to integrals, those integrals together, yeah? So let's do this, let's make another u sub, so this one let us do it to here, and I would like to say that u is equal to x, and so du will be equal to dx, well, the bounds don't even change, so I'm not writing them down, yeah? So that's gonna be my new, Pretty simple u sub uh, because well u is just a dummy variable it doesn't really change the value you know the final value of the integral itself so I'm just gonna write it's gonna be the integral from two to three of f of five minus x all over f of 
x mm, plus f of 5 minus x and I think you know what I'm getting at right now yeah so I can now just take those two integrals this one and this one and add them up together yeah so what I'm gonna be adding up is let me maybe copy this guy here because I'm just too lazy to write it down once again and this guy as well we know that both of those integrals without a doubt are gonna be equal to i yeah so only variables change no nothing else yeah so after adding all of this stuff together i'm gonna be left with the integral from two to three of is gonna be f of x plus f of five minus x on the and the upper side of the equation on in the numerator and then f of x plus f of 5 minus x in the denominator that's equal to double the i well as you can see this denominator and denominator are perfectly the same so you can just go on and cancel the cancel those out this entire thing is going to be equal to a one and so we get that the integral from two to three of one dx i forgot the dx here is equal to double the amount we wanted to calculate and so the amount we wanted to calculate from the very beginning so the i is equal to well the integral of one dx between two and a three is just is just equal to three minus two so three minus two and all over two because i mm, i got rid of this two here i divided both sides by a two and so we, we get our final result which is our integral equal to three minus two over two which is a half i'm gonna write it down right here our integral is equal to a half lovely so what did we do here in this problem well we ah, so what we did is we first of all introduced a u sub with five minus x equal to a u and then what we did is we actually saw that those number denominators after this u sub look absolutely the same so we changed the u into an x here and then added up those two integrals one on top of each other one on top of the other uh, and then realize that those nominator and the denominator are gonna nicely cancel each other out and so we got that our desired integral was equal to 3 minus 2 all over 2 which is a half there I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then well like and subscribe to my channel not to miss out on any stuff i'm gonna be posting in the future and i post quite frequently even every single day or sometimes even twice a day so there's a lot of stuff to miss out on and well thanks for watching and see you the next one bye